It was 1999. The dawn of the 21st century was around the corner. The Dreamcast was making waves. People actually listened to Willennium at some unfortunate point, and Funcom released a fantastic title in a lesser-known genre of adventure named the, the Longest Journey. As often as the adventure genre is overlooked with first-person shooters, strategy, and MMOs, it's always important to return to roots and, well, the best in the story. The Longest Journey is no stranger to story. The game follows adventure heroine April Ryan as she battles the forces of evil with a never-ending pocket of randomly assorted items found in the world. Initial glances don't merit much to the game's finesse, but dig far enough into the adventure and you'll discover why the game made our list for best in narrative design. April is an art student thrown into the middle of a grandiose war between two worlds, the familiar technological homeworld known as Stark, and the mysterious and magical world heralded as Arcadia. These two worlds were once united as one on Earth, but as the fates would have it, the worlds had to be divided to prevent a cataclysmic war. As with any journey, April meets a strange cast of friends and enemies, such as a race of moles with ridiculously long names. It's Bandu Umana Banta Au Rubana Bitana Benort. A strange man with a hover disc for a lower body. What I got here costs moolah, mucho moolah. A loudmouth sidekick bird that may have actually predicted Twitter. Lady, you have no idea how limited bird Twitter can be. It's all hi this and here I am that all damn day long. Dragons. You have come. You know me? April, daughter, I have been waiting for you. And the Three Stooges re-embodied into Talking Sticks. Be my guest! That's not to say the game has no shortcomings. The rendered graphics are on par with PSX era titles, and the full motion video sequences can be downright hideous. Plus, there's been a lot of criticism for the game's frequent illogical puzzles. Like this puzzle, where a player must put a pair of pliers inside a deflating inner tube, attached to a string to snag a key, otherwise an entirely accessible or this puzzle which requires a player to trap a wizard inside of a calculator, somehow. But enigmatic puzzles and jagged graphics aside, The Longest Journey gained such a following that there was high demand for a sequel. In 2006, Funcom delivered an even longer journey with a sequel that saw less success than the original, but the sequel's cliffhanger ending demanded the third installment. Fans can rejoice as game developer Ragnar Tornquist has taken the game to Red Thread Games, where we'll see The Longest Journey become even longer. We here at Noble Press don't want to reveal too much of what TLJ brings to the table. Just know that there's a game worth investing time into if story is your poison of choice. TLJ understands the devotion of adventure gamers, and throughout this title there are plenty of moments that reference other adventure games. It's Constable Guybrush. It says Calavera Crossing MCW. Don't love TLJ for the graphics or the puzzles. Love it for what it's here for. Love it for the story because it's one of the best. Grab a walkthrough if you must, but play this game and you'll find yourself pining to pick up the next two. We do not care about the words. We care about what the words tell us. 